everyone, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to a new video. Today we have a current household for the month of November 2023. It has been a while. I actually started a new current household, but with the same, like, starting sim, so I am still using Faith. But uh, I was planning on filming this anyways, and she decided to throw a bit of a curveball on me and autonomously propose to her boyfriend. So uh, here we are with that. And I can't say I was expecting that at all. I do have a mod in my game that allows, like, autonomous breakups and proposals and, like, divorces and stuff. Because, I don't know, I like having, like, a mix of things. But I definitely was not expecting that. So I am currently in the world of Sunset Valley. Um, I'm using a version of the town that has, like, the townies all like redone and made over so I will have a link to that in the description if you are interested but uh yeah as you can tell these two are very flirty with each other um and have been quite literally since the moment they met so we're gonna go ahead and hop into faith so she ages up in 23 days she's a Taurus. she likes uh, songwriter sushi in black She's a natural cook, hot-headed, family-oriented, bookworm, artistic sim. She wants to be surrounded by family. So, I had a whole, like, different plan for her. I'm just gonna scroll so you can see they are now fiancé. But I had a whole different plan for her, and I was gonna have her be a self-employed writer. And, uh, she rolled the want for the architectural design, so we are officially now at level 7. Um, which I've never actually completed this career before, but here's, you know, a mix of her skills. They are a little bit all over the place, but obviously painting is going to help her with her job, so that's probably why it's higher. Um, we have a couple of trophies. We have the Valor one and something else. But she's observant and has the profession Somalian booster because I wanted a little bit more extra money. But uh, here is Miss Faith, which this is not going to be the most flattering angle of her by any means. Because Parker is absolutely way too close. But uh, yeah, here is Miss Faith. Um, I might actually hop into Kalita Sim to show you. Plus I want to be able to show you like Parker's traits and stuff. And he's technically a roommate right now. Okay, so I just pulled them up. So here is Faith all, you know, properly done up. You can now actually see her. Uh, this is her formal outfit, by the way. And then we have Parker. Here he is. Here. He's a cutie. He does look kind of angry, but I don't know, I like him. Um, and for Parker, he is flirty, a great kisser, kleptomaniac, schmoozer, and a slob. He's got the golden tongue, golden fingers, lifetime award, er, uh, lifetime wish, and he likes cookies, classical, and green. I live with that electronica, but anyways, here's Parker. Alright, so we are over at the... Whose house is this? The single mom's household? I believe it is, um, because they were having a feast party, but it literally doesn't look like there's a whole lot of people here. So I think we may actually head on back home. I also have a cat over here to show you who apparently has fleas, but uh, this is Dakota. He is not sleeping at our house, but, you know, here's Dakota. Um, he ages up in quite a while, but he's non-destructive, neat, and independent. He is friends with both Faith and Parker, which is nice. And we are hunting level 4. But, uh, yeah, this is just, you know, he's a cutie. He does have fleas, so we should probably get home to go ahead and give him, like, a proper, like, bath. Which is why there's a bathtub outside. But, yeah, we're just living over here kind of in, like, a trailer kind of situation. But, I don't know, I like it. We don't need anything more than this. So, we're just gonna come home with Parker. Alright, they are home. Um, I am actually going to see if I can get Dakota to come home. I'm going to let Faith use the bathroom, and then hopefully by that time, there's Dakota right there. We can go ahead and give Dakota a bit of a flea bath. But yeah, since this is a new current household, despite me using the same sim as last time, I don't have like a whole lot to really show off. Um, it, I only started this within the last like week, and I've been playing it quite a bit. Oh. Well, apparently she just got scratched by Dakota, which I was not expecting. Can we please just, like, give him a flea bath? I don't know. I feel like we should be able to do this. But yeah, there's not probably not going to be a whole lot of screenshots at the end. 
I'm probably, I don't know, probably week six into this within a week, which is wild. But um, I've just, I don't know, I've really been enjoying just playing for myself. I plan to have a university video out today, actually. But, you know, I wanted to do this instead. And it's been a while since I've actually posted a current household anyways. So I feel like it's a good time to do so. But we're just going to have her take care of her needs. And then I'll probably pick up in the morning. Maybe we'll do a few, like, architectural design jobs together. Um, do I think I'm good at that? Clearly, no. But, you know, we've clearly made it somewhere. But, uh, I don't know. I want to see if I can maybe continue this painting. But I highly doubt that's going to be possible because she is so tired. But, uh, yeah. I didn't think so. Okay. I'm going to send her to bed. We'll pick up in the morning. Alright, so we are back. Uh, these two are going ahead and woohooing to start off the morning. And I'm just going to queue up all of, you know, what she could possibly need to take care of her needs. I try to make sure that she is in the best mood possible for the morning. Because, you know... She doesn't have, like, the rabbit hole to take care of her food or her bladder, so I try to do what I can. But okay, so she's just going to go ahead and eat. We also need to kind of top up the cat food. And then I'm going to see if I can get her to clean a little bit before work. Uh, Parker just left for work. I think, if I remember correctly, he's in the business career, which is kind of cool. So... Alright, we're just going to clean just for a little while. We do start work, like, super soon. So I'm probably not going to be able to do anything more than just making the bed, which is fine. But I want to see what jobs we actually have. So it looks like we have a few. Um, I think we're going to start with the man cave. I don't know, that sounds kind of fun to me. So uh, that looks like it's easy enough. It's for Gus Hart. So we'll go ahead and accept that job. And then I'm going to have... Nope. I did not mean to click on begin renovation, um, as I do it again. <laughs> okay, what I wanted to do was visit the lot, uh, so that we could go ahead and take measurements, because that does help with your job performance. I'm gonna pay the bills quickly, for some reason I thought I did that already, but at least bills are cheap. So we're just apparently going to run over here, see if we can get inside, which it looks like she may actually be inside already. So I'm just going to let her take her measurements, do what she needs to do here because it does help us out. And then I don't believe we actually currently know Gus. So I am, if I can find him here, I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself to him to see if we can find out any of his traits. It looks like he's right here. But yeah, I want to see if we can find out any of his traits that could be relevant for the architectural design career. So we're going to see if we can do that. It looks like she is now done taking her measurements. So what was that? Uh, family oriented, insane, easily impressed. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and begin the renovation. All right. So, okay, so I'm just going to do it in here at the living room. Um, I do tend to sell some of the stuff that they already, you know, have just to add into my budget. Um, I'm going to start with the bar, though. I think we're going to go in this one, but in a different color. Um, I try to stay away from using custom content in these as much as I possibly can, just because I don't know if that skews with the, like, job scores or not. Okay, I want to move this. Um, I think maybe we'll put this here, and then I'm going to move the plant over a little bit here, and then I can move this down. Yeah, I feel like that makes more sense. Because then I have space right there for the foosball table, which I think I'm going to go add in now as well. Um, what one do I want? I don't necessarily want to use the one from university. Let's go with this one. I don't know, I feel like that's kind of matching the vibe in here. But what way... Okay, it doesn't interfere with anything, which is nice. It's not in the way of the stairs. And, yeah, I feel like it makes the most sense to be like this. So, we'll just place that there. And then we need an expensive TV, a sofa, and VR goggles. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the sofas quickly. Actually, you know what? Let's do the TV first. We'll put this one right here because it goes 
perfectly with this room anyways. And then I can find out kind of like my budget. Um, I never use the VL goggles, so I have no idea how much they cost. So I may go back in and change some things after I, you know, place those down. But I feel like I want to still have, you know, a touch of his wife in this build. So I feel like a foil kind of moment here kind of works. And then I have to find out where the VL goggles are because I actually have no idea. Like, not a single clue. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I might be here a little while. I may actually do this all off camera. So let me do that quick until I find it. And then we will pick right back up. Okay, so I found them. They are under the video game section. So if I place this down, we are going to break the budget. So I'm going to put this, like, right here. And I'm going to have to switch out, I think, my couch. Okay, we don't have, like, a whole lot of money to play with here for the couch. So, that's too expensive. I want something that's going to look good. Like, it doesn't necessarily matter because Gus is an easily impressed sim anyways. But, like, I still want it to look good. Okay, I'm not using that because it's custom content. Also very expensive. Hmm. Um, I guess we could just go back to, like, this, with, like, a pop of white in here. I would have liked to do two of them, but I'm not going to be able to afford that if I do. Can I afford the three-piece one of this, actually? Um, that's going to be too expensive. I don't like this couch for them. Okay, I can afford the three-piece one. So let's just go ahead and do that, and we'll put that, like, here. I feel like that works. So let's go ahead and turn in the renovation. Okay. I feel good about that. I feel like it should be okay. Technically, everything has been done that he asked for. So let's just go ahead and see how all of this kind of, you know, goes. But okay, so he's going inside. It looks like she told him already. So now we just have to wait and see. They also have a dog in here named Moonshine. And... They're very cute. Um, why did you just change into your swimsuit? I guess he is an insane sim, isn't he? Um, I don't know. Okay. So it looks like that went fairly well. We can go ahead and add it to the portfolio. So, is there anything I can actually get, like, a good picture of around here? Uh, not really. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a picture of him. Or I can do the bar. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, that's not bad. Um, it's not necessarily, like, what we did, but, you know, it's in the same room. It's fine. So, there is one job complete. So, I'm going to come over here to the next one, which is an exterior makeover, just because it's close to where we are already. So, I'm just going to go ahead and head over here to the steel household and see what I can get up to over there. All right. Come on, Faith. Let's go. Alright, I do need to change her, like, clear outfit. I don't know. She's had this one forever, and I just don't feel like that would be how she would dress. But I have, for some reason, not adjusted it. So, now I have to wait and see if anybody's home. If not, I'm just gonna hop in and do the renovation, because I have met Christopher before. So, I think we're just gonna go ahead and begin on this one. And go from there. Alright, so I need four doors, four windows. I need to figure this out. So we will be back. Okay, so we finished that. And this is the one thing about this career that bothers me a little bit. Is she is like driving over here to the school. Why does he look like that? To tell him that the job is done. He's going to head over that way. She's going to follow him. By the time she gets there, he's going to try and leave again, so then we have to tell him again. It's happened far too many times. I don't understand why it's like this, but see, he's going to try and leave. Um, tell him that it's done, please, so that he doesn't leave. Oh. Did we stop him in time? It looks like we did. Okay. Just tell him it's done. He can look at it. 
we can move on and go to the next job because I truly did not try with this. Um, I don't, I feel like the exterior ones aren't that fun, which is also why I didn't film it. I don't know, it's just adding doors and windows. It's nothing all too extravagant by any means. Um, it looks like we are currently going ahead and listening to him and what he has to say. So, I guess we shall wait. Um, overall, I think you did a good job. Okay, cool. So, now we can head over to the last job of the day, which is a teenage sanctuary at the Wolf House. I don't even know if they have kids. But I guess we can try. Um, let's just go ahead and visit the lot. Alright, we are over here. We are getting to know Thornton a little bit. Um, because we finished the job. Is it great? No, but this is also a one-bedroom house, but apparently he liked it, so... I don't know. I guess we didn't do terribly. But we're gonna head home so we can take care of some of her needs now. Um, but yeah, that was just kind of like a day in her work day. Um, sorry for only showing you my process with the one job. But some of these take me a very long time. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and add some lights outside just to be a little bit more festive. But okay, let's go ahead. We're going to come home. I'm going to let her do her normal routine. She's going to come use the bathroom, take a shower, get some food. It looks like Parker has already headed off to bed. That is one thing about these two. They both go to sleep very early. So... Honestly, it doesn't really bother me all too much because they both get up super early and, like, both have kind of very busy jobs, so I don't mind. But we're just gonna go ahead and let her finish up here with her little daily, I guess technically it's a nightly routine, um, since it's after work. And usually Parker's home fairly early, so then he helps out with Dakota, which is lovely, so then I don't ever have to really worry about Dakota's, um social needs or anything like that either which is very nice so let's just go ahead let her eat we'll go ahead and clean up the dishes and then i'm gonna let her go ahead and get some sleep and that'll probably be where i wrap up the video because i do want to leave you all with some screenshots i don't have a whole lot of them but i feel like i should have enough to add into this video so let her clean up here and then we can go ahead and I don't have any cleaning to do, which is lovely. So I'm just going to let her come and get some sleep. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap this video up right here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos typically three to four times a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications when I post, hit that bell down below. Make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye lovelies!